Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to make a quick video showcasing the Petite Luna Pets, otherwise known as the VAC Pets, which came out in GMS about a month ago. I got this funny feeling that Nexon's going to be releasing the Wonderberries again in the next couple of months, so anybody that is interested in obtaining these pets, or variations of these pets, because there's probably going to be a new set, will have the opportunity to do so, and hopefully this video can give you some insight as to what are the Petite Luna Pets and what do they do exactly. So let's talk about how you get them. Nexon created a loot box known as the Wonderberry. It came out, I want to say early 2020, and it introduced what is known as a Wonder Black Pet. This is a variation of a Wonder Black Pet. I know it says Dream Luna at the top, we'll talk about that in a second, but this particular set was the first set of pets that they released known as Wonder Black Pets. So what you do is you can buy the Wonderberry for $4 each, or you can purchase 10 of them for $34, I believe, 34 35 Actually, it might even be $36 if my memory serves. Regardless, you can buy 10 of them at a discounted price, and you, you open them, and it's just like any other loot box. You have a select pool of prizes and a certain chance at getting each one, which Nexon posts the rates on their website before they release the event so you can see exactly what your odds are. As for the, the Wonder Black Pets, they always put three in the loot box. So this was the first set. When they released them again, they put a second set in there. And they also put some fodder pets in there that expire within 90 days. And they're also tradable in the auction house for non-reboot. Uh, I must also mention that this is a non-reboot exclusive thing. They do not have these petite luna pets in reboot because that would be very overpowered to the reboot server so this is a non-reboot only thing that you can do um but there's fodder pets as well and you can get a concentrated premium water of life which is basically a souped up water of life it restores your pet for 270 days uh which is nine months it's very nice it's it's a permanent item and tradable the gingerbread cookie is also in there it's basically a hundred closeness to any pet of your choosing permanent tradable all this stuff can go into the auction house it's pretty cool um but there's about like 10 total rewards and you're looking for the wonder black pets as your main reward so odds are pretty decent that you'll get what you're looking for but it's still chance so you're always messing with that rng but during the second release of the Wonderberry, Nexon released the Petite Luna Pets, which in GMS we have dubbed them as VAC Pets. The Petite Luna Pets are very rare, and they are locked behind a two-factor RNG, which I will explain. Basically what you do is you need what is known as a Luna Crystal Key, which is a NX item, of course, that costs $3.50 per unit, or a pack of five was $15, if I remember correctly. And you need two Wonder Black pets. So you take two Wonder Black pets, it can be the same pet, or it can be variations of Wonder Black pets, and you take a Luna Crystal Key, and you fuse them together in order to obtain a random reward based on a prize pool. That prize pool, as of the second release, contained the, the new three-piece Petite Luna Pets, as well as Dream Luna Pets, which a Dream Luna Pet is basically a more powerful version of a Wonder Black Pet. It's going to have a greater set effect than the Wonder Black Pets. Other than that, the... The Dream Luna Pets have nothing fancier that they can do other than simply being like, other than simply having more weapon attack. That's basically all that they do. This is basically fodder for all intents and purposes. There's another version of the Luna Pet, which I do not have, known as a Sweet Luna Pet. And I'll explain why those particular pets are really nice in a second. Um... The chances of pulling a Petite Luna are about 9%. It's 3% per pet as of the last release. So together, you have a 9% chance of obtaining one of these pets. Very, very slim chance. Um, 
I personally spent $750 and I was only able to obtain one of these. I actually had to get my other my other pets from players. Um so when you fuse two wonder blacks, you have a chance at three variations of pet. You're either going to get a petite luna, you're going to get a dream luna, or you're going to get a sweet luna. There's a total of nine different outcomes. If you obtain a sweet luna, sweet lunas can actually be fused with wonder black pets, and it doubles the chance at obtaining a petite luna. So basically, a sweet luna will increase your chances to 18% for obtaining one of the Petite Luna pets, or 6% per pet. It basically doubles the percent chance. So a Sweet Luna pet is actually not a bad reward. It's basically like a booster towards getting what you're looking for, hopefully in the future. Um, Dream Luna pets, as I said before, are worthless, and the only thing that they have of value is a better set effect than a Wonder Black, and the Wonder Black pets are only accessible from the Wonder Berries, so the the way that you do this is if you're actually trying to obtain these pets let's say you have 250 dollars you take 250 dollars and you buy three or four packs of wonder berries you obtain let's say six or seven wonder black pets you start fusing them together you fuse your sweet lunas that you get with with other wonder blacks that you have and you attempt to get the petite luna pet so, if you're lucky enough to get a Petite Luna pet, let's talk about what it does. It's basically a vacuum pet that can vac a 180 degree radius. I wish it was 360 degrees, but it is not. It's 180 degrees. I'll talk about some of the, the cons of the Wonder Black pets, or the uh, Petite Luna pets as we go through this video. But, um, let's, uh... Let me show you guys what one of the pets does, because the pet effect becomes stronger as you have more pets. But let me show you, just in case you only were able to get one, what one pet can do. So let's go over here, and we're going to farm up some loot. It's also worth mentioning that the Wonder Black pets also have a higher set effect than any pet in the game so the total for having all three of them is 30 weapon attack it's eight weapon attack for one pet 10 for the second and 12 for the third so a combined weapon attack of 30 which is the highest highest weapon attack set we've had released in gms So we have some loot on the ground, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this bottom layer, I'm gonna turn my pet on, and you guys are gonna see all of the items from the floor level upwards within a certain radius are going to be looted to my person. So these items are being taken from the top, these are being taken from the sides, and they're all flowing to me. Uh, the radius of the pet is pretty large. If I walk over here, I can loot those items in the corner there. Walk back over here, I can loot these items. Uh, if you stand on a rope, I can test the pull of the items from that third platform there. So if you tell, if you crawl up to right here, I can loot those items at the top. So it's got this, this is basically the maximum distance that you can loot. So it's not a full map vac, but it is it is very, very, very generous in how much it does vac. And it can vac two platforms at CLP, two platforms at most places. Um, one of the cons, let's talk about a con real, real quick. One of the cons to the vac pets, I don't know why they did this. Maybe it was because they didn't want to make it OP, but the vac pets will not vac anything that is above your, or below your character. So those meso bags, that are right there, not even a foot away. I cannot vac them because they're below me. As soon as I get on the same level, I can vac them. So that is one downside. You do not have a 360 degree vac radius. You only have 180. Um, 
other than that, I can't really... There, there's not really any other cons other than the fact that the pets are locked behind two-factor RNG. Um, it, it's actually... They're, they're really, really nice pets. Let me show you guys what the difference between one and three is. So you guys saw one pet loots the items at a pretty fair speed. Two pets would be a little bit faster, and then three pets, you're looting at the, the, the fastest possible speed. So let me, um, let me build up some more items, and then I will show you guys how quickly it loots if you manage to get yourselves three and complete your set. slap my loot on and then you'll see much faster the items are back to my player like that only took a couple seconds compared to about 10 seconds when I only had one and then over here I can grab these items as well up here grab these it's it's honestly really really nice um, a lot of people will tell you that these pets are not worth it simply because of the fact that they are expensive you know they're they're locked behind a two-factor rng so like you're not going to you're not going to be able to have the easiest time with obtaining these pets but if you manage to get the pets they do pay for themselves with how easy they make your life um one thing I like to do is let me go to this particular map in Esfera to show you guys exactly how cool these pets can be. If you're doing a quest or simply training in a map that looks like this, you have platforms all over the place. Vac pets are really cool for maps that look like this because you can loot items all over the place that you normally wouldn't be able to loot unless you went to the item. And it saves you time. Like, I'm jumping on this bottom platform, but I'm looting items that are right above me. I jump up here, I can loot all these items too. It's just better than having to actually go to every single platform to loot your stuff. The reason that they do not have these VAC pets in Reboot is because if they release them in Reboot, that would basically be putting a pay-to-win feature in Reboot. And Reboot is against that. Reboot's not designed to have that. So Reboot's not going to have VAC pets. But if Reboot did have VAC pets, it would increase the amount of mesos they can they can earn by like I would I would argue 30% just with the ease that the VAC pets make your training. Let's go to this map over here. These maps are usually pretty good. Nice close together platforms, a whole bunch of different platforms. Get the room so I don't not find items. It's just, you know, after having the VAC pets for a month, um, it's kind of difficult playing on my characters that don't have VAC pets because I'm so accustomed to not having to move too much in order to loot my items. It's definitely a quality of life item. It's a vanity item, 100%. But at the same time, if you manage to get your hand on it, it's it's really nice. It really is. It's got a fair looting distance. The pets themselves look pretty cool. Um, I'm predicting in a couple of months they're going to release the Wonder Berries again, which means you will have a second chance at obtaining Petite Luna Pets, and there's going to be a new set of Petite Luna Pets. If you follow any KMS streams or KMS content, 
the second set of Petite Luna Pets have already been released in KMS. It includes two fairy looking pets that kind of remind me of these particular pets right here. And then there's also a pony that is in the set as well, like a rainbow pony. Um, so that's the second set of the Petite Lunas. We are most likely going to get it in a couple of months. I'm thinking May, potentially April if we're lucky. Um, so anybody that is interested in VAC pets, you will have an opportunity to obtain them. They're very, very nice. I highly recommend it. Expensive, but they're very, very nice. Um, one of the coolest quality of life items that Nexon has created for us in a while. I... I love grinding with my VAC pet. It basically makes grinding that much more lazier. I I never have to go to this top platform at CLP. Basically, my grind rotation with the VAC pets is... I'll sit here with my Lucid Summon out for about 40 seconds, and I'll just chill. I'll attack the mobs. I'm constantly looting the top platform, and I'm constantly looting the middle platform. The only platform that I'm not really looting right now is the bottom. And what I do is I wait until Lucid is finished, and then I go down, and I loot the bottom, and it takes like a second, and I come back up top, and we start it all over again. So Lucid's gone, go back down here, back all these items to your player, come back up, and you're done. You don't even need to move, you barely need to move. I missed a couple items over there, sometimes I like to throw my pets off the platform, they'll jump down there and loot a little bit. Lucid comes back up, slap her back down, and then wash, rinse, and repeat. You're looting extremely fast, you're looting everything on the map. There's times where I'm training, and I'll take a look at my droplet stash, and it'll be like, oh my god, I had I had 89 droplets about an hour and a half ago, and now I have 92. I don't even remember looting a single droplet, because the items are just constantly flowing to me. I kind of take my mind off of it. So, um, that's basically Petite Lunas in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment, visit my stream, Whatever you'd like to do to get in contact with me, I can give you some more depth explanations. Uh, I can give you some of my own personal rates with trying to get the VAC pets myself. Um, I can tell you about like other people's luck with the VAC pets. Um, just give you whatever kind of inside info you want. Um, so I do appreciate everybody watching the video. I hope you guys learned something. And until next time, I'm out. Have a good one, guys. See you later.